In front of me, I have the top two tiers of the Breville Espresso lineup, the Dual Boiler and the Oracle. Which one of these machines is going to be best for your home, and which one can make better drinks? Let's find out. I'll also leave both of these units linked down in the description below so you can check your own local pricing. The first thing to understand when comparing these two units is that the Oracle is essentially the exact same machine as the Dual Boiler with a built-in grinder and automated brewing features. This means that apart from the grinder perched on top, their form factors are also essentially the same. They both have top cup warmers, a front filling port for the 2.5 litre water reservoir, a retractable power cord, hidden tool compartments behind the drip tray, and integrated caster systems for moving the machines around. Performance-wise, they are both dual boiler espresso machines, meaning that you can brew and steam at the same time. They both feature digital displays to change settings, such as when the machine turns on each morning, and they both offer a class-leading range of brewing parameter customization. Steam pressure, brewing temperature, pre-infusion time, pre-infusion pressure, shot volumes can all be programmed in to suit your coffee of choice. Or you can also run both machines manually. Let's start by watching these two brewing workflows side by side to understand the major differences. As you can see, the Oracle is significantly more hands-off than the dual boiler, and also provides far less opportunity for user error. But do they taste the same? If the dual boiler is paired with Breville's Smart Grinder Pro, a resulting shot that is dialed into the same flow rate as on the Oracle should taste exactly the same. But there's more to it than that. On the Oracle, you are trusting the machine to distribute and tamp evenly, which it does a pretty good job of, but with some practice, you can certainly do better by hand. And we can see this if we look at two side-by-side -side bottomless portafilter shots. On the left, we can see a nice, even filling in of the basket, and no channeling. However, on the Oracle, we can see some spraying, indicating channeling through the coffee puck. Now, it's not terrible channeling by any means, but it did happen on almost every shot I've done on the Oracle. The automatic steaming on the Oracle cannot really be faulted in the same way. It produces great textured milk at the texture and temperature combination you desire. This can, of course, be accomplished manually on the dual boiler, but nowhere near as easily and not without a lot of practice. The steaming is quite slow compared to more prosumer level espresso machines, but if you start it at the beginning of the process, it will be finished with plenty of time to spare. So why then are you paying more money for the Oracle 
if it actually produces a slightly inferior shot of espresso when compared to the dual boiler, and the milk is textured in a way that you could learn to do yourself. Convenience. If you are somebody who regularly entertains, the loads of downtime in the Oracle's process flow is a big benefit, as it allows you to not be constantly tending to the espresso machine, leaving you free to socialize, prepare food, or any other hosting duties. And the foolproof nature of the brewing process means you can even teach longer term guests how to use the machine themselves, something that is simply not possible on more hands-on machines. There is quite literally no way to mess up a coffee when using the Oracle's automated modes. Whether they want a latte or an Americano, which the Oracle will also automatically dispense water for, to suit small, medium, or large cups. You don't even need to move the cup after brewing. And that convenience is what you're paying for. The ability to only spend 15 seconds actually tending to the machine while still getting a cafe quality drink out of it. If you pair the dual boiler with the Breville Smart Grinder Pro, this combo will make the same quality espresso as the Oracle, but for less money. Or you could pair the dual boiler with a higher quality grinder and be able to produce better quality espresso at a similar total price. Both of these machines are extremely capable at their respective price points. You just need to determine how much value you place on the automatic features available on the Oracle. Now, I consider myself an espresso enthusiast, and I am still considering keeping the Oracle for the sheer convenience it provides, despite owning several more prosumer level machines. Again, you can check your local pricing using the links down in the description, and I've also left the links to the grinders I've shown paired with the dual boiler. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.